How's it going guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about whether or not using acetone to clean your circuit boards is a good idea or not. So let's get right into it. Using acetone to clean circuit boards, is it safe? You know, say you looked in your PC and your circuit board's looking kind of grimy, looking kind of run down. Uh, you've heard acetone's a good cleaner, you know, you get some, some real hard grime off of stuff, pretty easy to get your hands on. So is it safe to use on your circuit board? No, do not use acetone to clean your circuit board. While you may get away with it once or twice, I highly do not recommend it. Acetone is a very strong chemical and could potentially dissolve the plastics of any printed circuit board. Why acetone is bad for a printed circuit board? Acetone is very dangerous for PCBs. While it may be possible to clean the circuit board with acetone, it's a very risky choice. Many people have made the mistake of using acetone to clean their circuit boards and they highly regret it. While there are some people who claim that acetone is fine, and it hasn't caused them any problems, I consider them very, very lucky because they didn't dissolve their silk screens or solder mask on the circuit board, which is like their essential parts. So if you're new to circuits, silk screens and solder masks are components of PCBs that protect against corrosion and electrical sorts. If you remove these features, you have uh, significantly decreased the life of your circuit board or even killed it. Also, acetone is known to dissolve certain types of plastics such as ABS plastics, and a lot of circuit boards nowadays uh, that are manufactured contain those plastics. So unless you need to get your nails done or have some plastics to melt, please leave the acetone on the shelf. This is a before and after picture of acetone on plastic. You do not want to turn your circuit board into circuit board soup. You don't. So what should you use instead of acetone? Determining what to use to clean your PCB depends on what you need to clean. Either you're just cleaning some dirt or dust or something to something more than that, such as a solder flux. Luckily, there are many ways to properly clean your circuit boards from typical maintenance to deep cleaning. So here are the tools that I use to clean my circuit boards. First off is compressed air. Magical canisters, I love compressed air. Almost any brand of compressed air works to clean out circuit boards without the need to use water or solvent. Compressed air works better to clear dust and push light grime off your circuit board. But if you need to get a deeper clean, you can't really use uh, compressed air. But even if you are gonna get a deeper clean, always start out with some, uh, always start out with some compressed air. It, it, it's a lifesaver, I love it. Next is water. Just basic water can be used on a lot of electronics such as, such as circuit boards. It's too simple to be true. It seems too simple to be true, but it works wonders. I've seen some people even claim to put their circuit board in a dishwasher. However, probably don't do that because putting a circuit board in high heat and high pressure probably isn't the best thing to do. But it's, it's, the point still works there that water is great for cleaning your circuit board. Cotton swabs are also great when you're cleaning circuit boards with water because you can get really precise with the water inside your circuit board. And what, you also reduce the risk of damaging your circuit. Next is isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. It seems to be the most recommended product to use on cleaning electronics. If regular water doesn't work, then this is the next step. The other, the other benefit of using this alcohol is that it will displace the water from the circuit board, allowing it to dry a lot faster. Simply because alcohol evaporates much more quickly in open air. It's just the science of that. My favorite technique is to clean my uh, circuit boards with, I get a little bit off with the air compressor, then I get my water, I do a little cleaning, and I finish it off with rubbing alcohol, and, and it dries it off a lot quicker. Uh, but here, you have to have really big caution when you're cleaning your PCB. I cannot stress this enough. Before you start cleaning, you need to make sure that there's no power in it. And it seems really obvious, but it needs to be stated. You also want to make sure that the circuit board is dry before you power it up, because it will fry your circuit board. You you might as well toss it out use a paper, use it as a paperweight at that point. Especially, don't keep power in it, because you're going to shock yourself if, when you're cleaning it and then also make sure it's dry because it'll break your keyboard. Yeah. So here's how to tell your PCB is dry enough to use. So you might think the PCB is dry if it's not. There can be any kind of, kind of small moisture and cracks that you can't see. Like it, water gets everywhere. You know, it takes a path of, the path of least, least resistance into little places where you can't see. If there are any kind of cracks or crevices that the water might seep into, you should be extra cautious. To be safe, I would wait until the circuit board is completely dry from what you can see, and then wait an extra day or two before you use it again. Uh, just to be safe, because buying a new circuit board sucks. Uh, you can maximize drying by placing the PCB in a well-circulated area, as well as avoiding moisture in humid, humid environments. You want to keep it away from humidity, because humidity is water. It keeps the water there, which is not something that you want. So in conclusion, do not use acetone. We have a lot of other things to use that are a lot better than acetone because acetone can melt things that are so important in your, in your circuit board and turn it into circuit board soup. So for simple things like dust and dirt, use some compressed air or water. If you wanna make sure you're cleaning them correctly though, do consult some YouTube guides and videos on how to do it, but I'm sure you can figure it out. 
for more hefty cleaning, you need a stronger substance, but don't reach for the acetone, reach for the alcohol. It's, it's a lot safer than acetone. You, uh, it seems to be the most recommended product and works very well. Good luck with cleaning your circuit board without acetone. Don't use acetone. That, that's, that's the main point of this. Use compressed air, water, alcohol, anything other than acetone because that will ruin your circuit board. So yeah, for more guides and reviews, check out keywordkings.com. The link to this article will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good day.